What is going on, YouTube? It's Math Tutorials 14 here, and we're back in our tutorial. And so today, I have a really good tutorial for you guys today. So I've been noticing um, through various videos, um, one of them being a lot of the time the iDVD one, people have said, well, you know, I can't open up this file because it's telling me I can't. It's from an un uh, uh, I can't talk. From an un uh, unidentified developer. Um, and they can't open the file up, they can't do anything. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to change that in the settings. It's actually in System Preferences. Um, so I figured, you know, I, normally I respond to people, but instead of doing that, because so many people are asking me, I'm just going to make a video. And that way I can just, you know, reference the video, put it in the description and say, go watch this video. That way you know what you're doing and everything will be okay. Um, so it's really simple, um, but I just want to make sure, um, because I keep telling this to people and the more comments, you know, that come on the video, the farther it's going to go down and then people won't see it and then they won't know what to do. So I'm just going to make a video instead. So now, um, you guys may be familiar with this message. Now, if you, uh, if you follow my, if you followed my tutorial, um, about the unpackage, you might be familiar with this message. It says, Unpackage cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Um, so, you know, people are saying, well, you know, this is happening and I press OK. No matter what I do, this stays the same. So how do I, how do I fix that? So all you guys are going to want to do is you guys are going to want to open up System Preferences. And you're going to want to go to Security and Privacy right here. Now, you'll notice this is what it'll look like. So... Um, there, there is general, firewall, firewall, and privacy. So now you're going to do general. So over here, um, there's a lock over here. So now all you have to do is click that lock. And it's going to prompt you to enter your, uh, your password for the computer. So I'm going to enter the password for the computer. And as you can see, it authenticated it. And then it unlocked the, uh, the lock. And now it's going to let me make changes. So if I had that locked, as you can see, um, I cannot make... Except for that, I cannot actually make any changes to the account. Um, so, what we're going to do is, like I said, just go like this. Type in our password to authenticate it. And now, instead of Mac, App Store, and, unid un and Unidentified Developers, all you guys are going to want to do is just press Anywhere. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to say, uh, choosing Anywhere it makes your Mac less secure. Um, you know, there's a thing, you know, if you do uh, Mac, App Store only... What that's going to do is it won't let you um, download anything from the web, and we don't want that because for obvious reasons, you want to be able to download Minecraft and other things if you want to um, from the internet. Um, so we're just going to press anywhere, and it's going to you know come up saying it's going to be less secure. All you're going to do is press allow from anywhere. Now what that's going to do is you'll see it, you're, you're going to see it being checked. Now we can get out of system preferences and we can go back into the unpackage folder. And as you can see, double click to open it up. And as you can see, it says unpackage is an application downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? So instead of um, on first open, when you open a program for the first time, that's you know, that's, um, I guess you say downloaded from the internet or downloaded from an external source. It's going to say it's downloaded from the internet or an external third party source. Are you sure you want to open it? You know, there's potential security risks and uh, bugs and stuff. Do you, are you sure you want to open it? So all we have to do is press open. And there you go. It's that easy. There is unpackage. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Make sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. I hope that helped out because a lot of people were asking me how to do this. So I just figured I'd make a tutorial instead of responding, um, you know, via text like I keep doing, not via text. Well, via, like, comment through Google Plus and everything. But anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe, and favorite this video. But anyway, guys, that about does it for now. And I guess for now, I will talk to you guys later.